What can you do if you witness someone getting this type of shock? Is there a way to save someone from being electrocuted? I'm glad we're talking about this. Over a thousand deaths per year due to electrocution, over 3,000 plus admissions to burn units. And these things are not only preventable, but in many cases you can help out if you encounter a victim. And one of the things I do want to touch upon, Dr. Lisa, is beauty appliances. I remember growing yes. up thinking, oh my gosh, be careful with the hair dryers. Right. Yeah, have they improved? This, this used to be a big, big problem. And you know, when we're in the shower, we'll have the curling iron plugged in so it's ready when you get out. But since 91, they've you know, put these big plugs on there. And these are um, ground fault circuit interrupters. And basically, if they sense a leak, they trip the circuit. Mm -hmm. And so that's made these things really, really safe. But you still don't want to use those things in yeah, right. water. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly. Right, I still wouldn't trust yeah. it with my life like that. Exactly. And obviously, kids are a specific type oh, of man. danger when it comes yeah. to because they don't know any better. Yeah, exactly. And you know, the, uh, one of the big dangers for kids is if you have a maybe an extension cord that's led across the room, maybe behind a couch. Toddlers love to chew on things, and there is not a nastier injury than a oh, toddler yes. that's chewed yeah. through a cord. Uh, also, the frayed ends of a cord can be very dangerous. And then, of course, sticking objects into an outlet very, very dangerous. That's why you want to have these child-proofing inserts. I have these all over so my house. So important, yes. You know. But you want to know the biggest cause of electrocution injuries? What? Trying to repair appliances like uh -huh. Dr. Orton or get a piece I'm of trying, I'm trying to get my that bagel That is the out. number one cause. <laughs> that can happen. So yeah. what do you do? Well, if you come upon someone being electrocuted currently, Help last thing you want to do is if you go up to them and touch them, <laughs> I'm going to get electrocuted too. That creates a worse, get... yeah, that's worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Number one, you want to try to break that electrical cycle. So get the source of energy away. If you can trip the circuit breaker or get the thing unplugged, that's great. But here's the other big thing. You do not want to touch the person directly. Use a non-conductive <laughs> device to separate this person from the object. You're all metal, you're being electrocuted. Wood, cardboard, plastic. So, Dr. Orton, get electrocuted. <laughs> get his hand away. This will not conduct that energy. The other good thing, can you get electrocuted again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get used to this. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Believe you're it or not, rubber. Now. A lot of people have rubber on the bottom of their shoes. So, make sure you're not on a conductive sur surface. There Kick the device yeah. away. Thank you. Actually, felt pretty good. <laughs> the depression's, My depression's gone. better now.